King is my lovely, wonderful people. The governor of Delta State meets with Tinubu in Aso Rock. Says, I don't understand why the president will ask the military to go all out in a reciprocal attack on the community. People who carried out this attack on the soldiers are militants. They are far gone, but because the, 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 the community in which these militants, uh, these uh, you know, soldiers, in quote and unquote, said they were coming for peacekeeping, and are the ones to face the bonds. Why? You know, you know, the governor also went to that community just to see what was going on. The soldiers blocked the road. You don't know Nigeria. In case you are not aware, please do your own investigations and make sure that you get the, you know, the statistics right. Half of Nigerian soldiers, half are from the north. And that is not to say stereotype and all that. It goes to tell you that there is a mindset. What is going on in Delta State is condemnable, should not be done. Our military should not be, you know, killed like chickens and all that. However, in the north, we've seen cases where Bokus kill over 50 soldiers. Is it commanders? They've gone to army school, army barracks, and not a single house is blazed down. That's the point I'm trying to make. And the president did not say, so the governor has gone to meet, you know, Tinubu. Why is it that in Nigeria, there are different laws, not just two laws or different laws? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. Delta State Governor goes to meet Tinubu in Aso Rock after the killings of soldiers, asking why President Tinubu says, the community should be wiped out. As tension continued to mount over the killings of military officers and soldiers on a peace mission in Opomo community in Delta State, Governor Sheriff has gone to see President Bola Metinubu. Governor Sheriff has met with President Bola Metinubu at the presidential villa. Addressing State House correspondent after the meeting, the governor said the situation is now under control. He assured that there will be no more attacks. The governor also stated that he had met with the security heads in Bomodi local government area of his state, but was yet to meet with residents of the community involved in the area since the police and the military have been destroying lives and property, blazing down the community. However, he says the residents must have run away and others life has been cut short as a result of the military taking taking the vengeance on themselves on the number of casualty following reports of reciprocal attack on the community governor sherry said that there was it was a security matter and is not obliged to mention that to the public because not all key people now hmm. daily trust has reported how youths how the youths murdered lieutenant Cornell two major, one captain, and 12 soldiers in Opomo, Ugeli, South local government area of Delta State on Thursday, and Nigerian military has gone all out. The diseased officers and soldiers were of the 181 battalion in Mamadi, local government area of Delta State. Chief of Defense, Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has directed the immediate investigation arrest of those involved in the crime. You can't see them. They don't enter water go. They are in the deep waters. We are just killing innocent men and women. The Opomo community residents have fled the neighboring have fled to neighboring Ugeli town community for fear of reciprocal attacks on the, by the soldiers who have killed both women, children, and all they find that has breath in them. Some houses were burned down in the, in the community and neighboring and the neighbor Bayesa community. But army authorities have distanced themselves from this. However, Nigerians have the pictures and videos circulating on social media. So the governor said, no one talk to you, say we say na security matter. But when they take the life of people. In the north, recently again, a lot of things have happened. Nobody has gone there to say this is not right. Oh, what has happened is not acceptable. 
but in the south is a different see if you are from the if you are from the uh, what's it called southeast yeah or south or south south respect yourself what did i say respect yourself because nigerian government can deal with you do anything to you and nothing will happen but if you are from the north you are exempted you can do and undo in fact you can threaten them in fact we are seeing bookers that have killed women and children and those kind of things are coming out to meet the governors of the state that they are ready to negotiate wow how convenient negotiations mm -hmm. in order negotiations in order so it is really really shocking okay you know it is really really shocking you know and it is it is becoming very very you know very very unbelievable for me that these things are happening i cannot even begin to imagine how things are and what is going on so we need to begin to put things in place and begin to you know ensure that the right things are done Every single individual is wondering in this nation how we got here in the first place. Everybody's wondering. And we need to begin to, you know, iron out things and ensure that at the end of the day, nobody's left out in all of this. Nobody's left out. So everybody, every one of us must look at things more carefully. Every one of us, every one of us, you know. So it is a very, very serious one. And, um, we are looking at, you know, we are beginning to ensure that things are done properly so that Nigerians are not left in a cocoon, you know. Because what is what has happened in Delta State shows you the fragile nation of, nature of this nation that, you know, the people have no words. The government, you know, continues to do what they do and there is nobody to hold them to account. You know, they, they carry out all forms of impunity. And because they are in government, that's why Tinibu said, it's my turn. You know, you go there and use it to, to clear and to put things properly in your, in your own way. So it is very, very, it's very, very, you know, uh, you know it's very, very uh, important. Uh -huh. It's very, very important, you know, that we, you know, uh, that, that we put things, you know, we put things, you know, where it should be. So, my people, what do you think? With all of this happening, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.